Now this is the left rear window fairing. This tab here uh, goes inside of the window channel and the window weather stripping fits up against that and then this part here uh, fits over the uh, frame where it sticks out and then this piece goes back and fares over that back window, the D window. And you'd see I've got some corrosion here on the end and it's worse on the inside and then there's spots of it all the way down even on the inside of this channel here. Well I could clean this up with acid etch, prime it and paint it and it would last for a while like that but eventually that corrosion is going to come back. Well I was thinking about building a new piece but it's kind of a convoluted shape. Well, I looked up online to see what it, it is and uh, you can get a new one from Univer for 60 bucks. So I decided I would do something with this one, either clean it up. I took it down and stripped the paint off of it so I could see it a little better. And I could still clean it up and use it. But I decided to see how it would be to make a new one. And the spec for this, this is the uh, blueprint for it, the spec sheet for it. It calls for 032 half hard aluminum. And I don't have any half hard. All I've got is 20-24 T3 and that's kind of hard to work with. Anyway I dug a strip of it out that uh, out of the the scrap bin just to see how it work and I managed to fold it up and I, I think it actually turned out not too bad. If I had a regular folding brake it would be a lot easier because then you could well, you could make this 90 and then make this 90 this bend make it a 90 and actually over bend it past way past 90 and then stick it back in the brake and flat and fold it down and get it to compress down in this shape like this but with this press brake that doesn't work but what I did here is I uh, made this in the first 90 and then made the second 90 here and then used the vice grips hand seamers to just gradually fold that over into that bend until I got it down as far as I could with the vice grips and I took a body hammer and just held this down on the edge of the bench and tapped on it with the body hammer generally gently going across it to get it to bend. It'll still need a little bit of work to get it smoothed out but it actually turned out pretty good but because of the press brake the way it is on there with the V I had to have a pretty long tongue on this uh, 90 here where it sticks out a lot longer than what I wanted, uh, a lot longer than this is. This tongue stuck out quite a bit farther. So I had to stick it in the shear after I got done and shear it off. And because it's just a practice piece, I wasn't too concerned about it. I, I didn't get it sheared very good. Anyway, at, uh, I might think about doing that. I've decided to go ahead and try to build this fairing that goes on this left rear window, this fairing here. So I had to dig out my roll of 032 and cut off a piece of it. I cut it so that the bends will go perpendicular to the grain. The grain goes this way and the bends go this way. If the bends, if the grain goes this way and the bends goes this way, then there's more of a chance of, of the bends cracking out. There's a lot of chance of that on this hard uh, material, this 032 and 2024 T3. This is what I was doing anyway, just gradually trying to, to get this to bend up. There's so much spring in this that uh, it uh, doesn't want to stay. You can only get it to go so far. So that's about as much as I'm going to get like that. Well, now I got a piece of hardwood here. I'm going to see if I can see if I can do that by hand first. See if I can push that in by hand. This. It's heavy enough that I can't push it over. Well, that's about as much as I can do by hand. Now I'll just take this. And finish it off like this. Alright. That looks pretty good. Now a little bit more hand work on it, just straightening it out, and that should be okay. Okay, this is what I got. This piece, of course, will be cut off. This is what I'm trying to emulate here. I might not have got that deep enough. I didn't get that deep enough. This has got to be deeper down to, to, to 
get down against that to give enough room in that uh, uh, channel for that window channel. Dug on. Okay, so I made a mistake there. That's the way that's supposed to go. I didn't give myself enough room. I need a deeper channel there. Dog on it. Well, everything else looks pretty good. Uh, trying this rear left hand window fairing again. I measured out another piece. I give myself a little bit more generous measurements this time. Measured the, the existing piece and uh, made this leg quite a bit longer that uh, goes into the window channel itself. And I made this piece that uh, goes back covering up the window longer too. I went ahead and bent this first 90. I have to cut that off on the shear once I get the form finished up on it. But instead of taking it out after bending this second 90 and forming it by hand, I uh, left the brake down in the trough and then I went around the back side with a hammer and a block of wood and used this for a form and I went ahead and, and hammered that down with the block of wood and brought this side up way past 90 here now. Well once I get that out of there then I can go ahead and finish forming it with a block of wood and stuff here on the table like I did before. Well, let's see what we have here. Okay that makes a pretty nice bend there. Uh oh it broke. It cracked. Cracked out. That's to get for using. T3 if it had some uh, softer half hard aluminum it probably would have worked okay. Well, here's the one that I just made. I took it over the bandsaw and cut off the most of the crack. It's still got a little bit of a crack in it there coming down but I just wanted to to see how it was going to work. Works good. It fits in there tight against the bottom of that channel and uh, it uh, fares in that window. That would have worked good. So this is the factory one here. Fits in there exactly the same way decided to give this one more try. I went and cut another piece off of that uh, roll of aluminum and I tried to anneal it. Annealing uh, aluminum is kind of a tough thing to do and I'm not even sure if it works on 2024 or not. I did do it on those fairings that go on the boot cowl for the windshield. I work hard in those, working them with the shrinker and the stretcher and uh, I did heat those up. And I didn't do anything scientific with anything. I just heated them up. Now aluminum is, is one of the harder things to anneal. I've annealed steel a lot quite a few times. Uh, convert an old file into something you could work, make a knife or something, uh, heat it up, horseshoe nails so you could bend them, those are hardened steel, heat it up annealed springs to repair a broken spring, a uh, recoil spring on a chainsaw or lawnmower, done that a whole bunch of times, and of course I've annealed copper, spark plug gaskets for the airplane a lot, and those are easy enough to do with steel, you heat it up red hot and then just let it sit and cool down slowly in still air. Uh, copper, you heat it up red hot and quench it. Uh, aluminum's a little different ball game. The color on aluminum doesn't change enough to tell the change in color from just regular hard aluminum to melt melted aluminum is, is almost negligible. There is a little bit of a color change that you can see. It does go from shiny to a little bit dull, but uh, it's real hard to tell. There are crayons that you can get uh, to use that will tell you what the temperature is. Another method I've heard is to put soap on it and then heat it up till the soap burns off. I've tried doing it with soot from acetylene torch. Uh, run the acetylene real rich with sooty and coat it with soot and then uh, get a neutral flame and heat it till the soot burns off. There was ink on here and I did heat it up until the ink uh, started to burn off a little bit. You can just you can just barely see the ink on there until it changed colors. And I was watching the color of the uh, aluminum and I could see it change just a little bit. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'll give it a try. Well, I'll go ahead and give this a try again, lay it out again and, and see what I can do with it. Well, that's not going to work. I screwed this one up. I bent it in the wrong spot and tried to rebend it, but uh, it's not going to work. This uh, 2024 T3 is just too hard and it wound up cracking out in this bend again here. It's not worth fooling with anymore. I could just keep trying it and keep coming up with the same results. So I'm just going to go ahead and I might go ahead and order some soft, softer aluminum, some workable stuff and uh, make a new one of these when I get it. 
but for now I'm just going to clean this one up, paint it and reuse it. That corrosion is almost all pretty much cleaned out of there now. If I put that in the Aluma Prep the Acid Etch, that'll clean that out pretty good. So, anyway, my little experiment there didn't work as well as I'd hoped it would have. But it did kill some time. <laughs>